What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel H Studio 3.0 and this is my home theater tour 2020. Let's go. Guys, let's start off with the aesthetics of the room. This room is six and a half meters by three and a half meter wide with a three meter ceiling. Now I'm a big fan of ceiling features. So I created this drop down box feature around the room to give that floating effect. Addition to the ceiling is some LED RGB lighting, which I purchased from eBay and so far it's working great. This room is built on the second floor of the house and sealed with Earthwall 2.7 acoustic treatment inside the walls, the ceiling and flooring. As you can see, I have built a two-step riser for the front stage and reseating and dressed it with a soft pet-proof carpet which also feels nice on the feet. Now even though the room is sealed, I still needed to add acoustic panels around the room to absorb sound and echo. I managed to build these myself which are very easy to do with some online guides. If you guys have any questions about the DIY process, please comment on the section below. Now I'm a big fan of voice recognition, so I'm using the Google Home Mini and Logitech Harmony Elite to control this room setup. Now let's start off with the screen. I originally had this screen and speakers in a smaller room running a 5.2 channel setup. This is the Elite 125 inch acoustic transparent CinemaScope screen. By having this type of setup, it allows me to have all my front speakers hidden behind the screen, which I couldn't do in my previous room due to the layout. Having a long narrow screen also allows me to tuck away all my gear underneath, which I still need to build a lightweight cover for. Now the surround sound setup for this room is 7.2.4, which means I have seven surround speakers, two subs and four Dolby Atmos speakers in the ceiling for that overhead sound experience. Moving on to the speakers. The Klipsch KF28 Icon floor standing speakers for the left and the right channel give a crystal clear sound and have this enhanced 1 inch aluminium tweeter. For my center channel I'm using the KC25 Icon series which is surprisingly perfect for this size room. I've allowed some room in the niche area for some potential upgrades in the future. For the surround and back speakers we have the Klipsch R5650W2. Now these reference level in-wall speakers come with a low profile magnetic grill that you can also paint same color of your wall. These speakers have a one inch titanium dome compressor driver and that copper colored woofer looks amazing. For my ceiling speakers, I'm using the Klipsch CDT3650C2. These sound fantastic. They have a one inch tweeter with a six and a half inch copper colored woofer. I've also placed these two feet in front of my seating and I must say I'm blown away on how well Dolby Atmos works. To complete this setup I'm using the Klipsch SW350 and the Klipsch Sub 10 which together produce 770 watts. These two bad boys shake this entire house and I barely get to turn it up. Now let's talk about the receiver. This baby is the 9.2 Denon AVR X4400H. This receiver also has 11.2 channel output, meaning you can run 11 speakers with the help of an additional two channel amp. I know you're probably thinking, how is he running 11 speakers on a nine channel amp? Well, at the moment, I've only hooked up two ceiling speakers until I could afford an additional amplifier. It has your standard built-in Wi-Fi, HEOS, AirPlay, etc. and supports Dolby Atmos, of course. It is a HDR 4K receiver that also supports HDCP 2.2. Hooked up to it, we have a PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch for gaming and this Sony UBPX 800 4K Bluetooth player, which also has some apps built in for streaming. Speaking of 4K, have a look at this 500 CD rack I managed to tuck away on the side of the room. In front of it, we have the gold class rope stand to give that extra bit of character and to tell the kids no trespassing. Wakanda forever! Now let's move on to the seating. We have this beautiful comfortable lounge which also has some storage for all my gear. I like it very nice. I don't know, I don't know. 
Moving up the steps, we have some step lights for the kids. And on the riser, we have the three automated recliners. I purchased these online. They are very comfortable and recline all the way back, but I normally just put my legs up. And what's cool about them is they also come with these USB ports to charge your phone or whatever. Behind me are the poster frames I had bought from Kmart. Very affordable, $12 each. And as you can see, I'm a big Marvel fan. What's a theater room without a candy bar? On the other corner cabinet, I'm still deciding what I should do. So if you guys have any ideas or any suggestions, please let me know in the section below. The projector for this room is the Big Bazooka, the Epson 4050UB 4K Enhanced HDR projector, which also has programmable lens shifting memory. Which means by the touch of a button, I can go from a normal 16.9 ratio screen to a 2.35 widescreen. That is awesome. Well, there you go guys, that is my home theater tour 2020. I hope I have inspired some of you guys in some way. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and click on that bell button to be notified on my upcoming videos. If you guys like videos as such, please hit that subscribe button. I will list all the items in the description below. Till then, we'll see you in the next one.